hi uh, today i will uh, show you one scenario where i am trying to uh, connect my remote oracle database but unfortunately i am not able to connect that remote database so we will do a step by step tr troubleshooting to find the actual cause so let's begin so I have two putty sessions, both are of my same server. With one putty session, I will try to uh, connect to my uh, database server uh, using listener. What you need for remote connection, you need the IP address of the database server. You need the listener port and you need the service name of database. Service name is actually the name which is actually registered in the listener okay so in my case as i know the ip address so this command is straightforward simple sql plus username password at the rate here you need to mention the ip so here i know that uh, the host name is oel77pr so i will mention the host name you can also mention the ip yeah now colon then listener port so as i know that my listener is running on 1525 port then slash then you need to mention the service name of your database so in my case it is test tv and hit enter so you see you got an error of aura12514 tns listener does not currently know of service requested in the connect so what we can do right now so first we will check that whether there is database is up or not usually it will be up ok so I have two databases uh, running on this server test tv and db prod so ok so what is the issue so I will connect to the database also to check whether it is open in read write mode or not yeah so it is in read write state it is primary server and here I can also see that listener is also running so I will first check the status of listener ok so my listener is running but the issue is the listener supports no services ok so that is the issue whatever service you are requesting here that service is mandatory to be registered in this listener so if your listener does not know about the service name then how uh, uh, it will handle the remote connection so that's why we are getting aura12514 ok but uh, why this is happening ok let's try to bounce the listener ok give some time because pmon actually uh, completes the dynamic uh, service registration process in the listener so we will check two to three times whether it is registering or not ok so service name is not automatically being registered by the pmon process ok so why this is happening because whenever we install the database we don't know we don't need to do anything with the listener database uh, dbc automatically create the listener and uh, database service automatically registered in the listener so what is happening in this case so we will check the listener.ora file okay so here you need to cross check all the entries okay host name is fine you can mention ip address or host name port is okay yeah everything is okay so it is it simply shows that my listener is dynamic listener so it will register all the databases which are running in this machine so we have tried stopping the listener then we started the listener but still we are not able to register the database service in the listener ok so what is the issue so the simple issue is the port is 1525 and uh, I want to tell you one uh, oracle documentation uh, there is mention that uh, only if your listener is running on 1521 port only in that case pmon will register your service name in the listener if your listener is running 
uh, port other than 1521 that is from different to the default port so in that case pmon will not register the service name in your listener okay so in that case we need to either we have two options we can create a local listener or we can create a static listener so local listener is nothing but a parameter you can check the parameter yeah local listener is nothing but a simple parameter you can set uh, this parameter and it usually uses your tns names dot one five there you need to you should uh, you need to have this entry in your tns names dot one and it will use that entry to register in your current listener but i will show you today with the help of a static listener so here we will create a static listener so for that we need to first stop the current listener yeah it is stopped and you need to mention uh, edit the listener.ora file so where is the file yeah this one is the file you need to remember the location it is inside oracle home network admin folder just edit okay here we need to mention uh, these oracle database uh, global name the oracle home and the service name okay so i have created that entry yeah so this is the entry you just need to mention here the tv name which will be shown in the listener status so i will put here test tv you need to write here your oracle home so i will i will check what is my oracle home yeah so this is my oracle home just paste here okay now what is my dbs id so usually your database name becomes your dbs id so it is test db okay now copy this text and paste in the listener or a file edit this file remove all the entry paste it save it now we will start the listener you see with the help of static listener you see that your service name is immediately registered with your listener now if we run the status command you see our service is registered now if we try again it will be connected okay fine simple you can check your database name also yeah so i have connected to the correct database okay so there are multiple errors with listeners this is one of the listener and in the next upcoming videos i will cover other issues regarding listener okay like uh, service name issue uh, related to port issue uh, port block issue so uh, be with my channel and i will upload next videos very soon so thank you very much if you have any doubts uh, regarding this video you can put down in the comment section thank you very much